Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys some really amazing iOS 14 hidden features and tricks that Apple didn't show us. Starting things off with shape recognition. Now Apple did show this feature but they showed it on the iPad. Did you know that it works also on the iPhone? So if you want to mark up something then you can use shape recognition. So here I take a screenshot. I want to draw a circle here. All I have to do is just draw the circle, tap and hold and it will recognize the shape and that's really really awesome it will also work on other apps like for example on notes here if i want to draw an arrow all i have to do is just draw it tap and hold you can see it will recognize the shape as well or maybe like a square tap and hold and it does recognize it on the new app library feature of ios 14 you can easily find apps based on different companies so if you want to find your google apps all you have to do is just search for google there so google and it will only show me the google apps so you will have to search there for apps but you can see like i have here slides snapseed youtube i just search for google and it will only show results from apps that are created by google you can now add captions to your pictures so all you have to do is just open a picture on the photo library just swipe it up like this and you will have here a field where you can go ahead and add a caption basically a title for any of your pictures you probably have already heard about the back tap feature of iOS 14. You double tap on the back of your iPhone to perform an action and triple tap to perform another one. It can be found under accessibility touch and then you will have here back tap. Now if you combine this with your shortcuts then you can perform some really really cool actions like opening an app here i can double tap and it will open the instagram app as easy as that so of course you can do that with any app so what you need to do is go to shortcuts and just add a new shortcut here add an action and choose here open and then from the list here choose open app and choose any app you want and then you will have to create a shortcut to open that app so just choose any app you want here like the calculator for example and let's go ahead tap next here choose calculator here and then click done now once you have done that you go back to settings and you go to back tap you go to double tap or triple tap and you scroll down here to your shortcuts and you just find that shortcut that you just did create and then once you perform that action it will go ahead and open that app back tap will also allow you to use spotlight search within apps without leaving the app at all so you just go to double tap or triple tap and you just select spotlight and now when you're on an app all you have to do is just double tap and you will go to spotlight search you can search for anything you want here double tap again or click cancel to remove it and you'll be back on the app you will have access to your spotlight search without having to leave the app at all on the spotlight search of iOS 14, when you're searching for a contact, all you have to do is just type the name right there and click go. And now what it will do is show you the contact card. So you will have all the information right there. You can see this beautiful screen right here with all the different info, basically the contact card that you're searching for. On iOS 14, you can now rename Bluetooth devices. You just go to the settings and go to the Bluetooth section and tap on the I button here at a device that you have connected to your iPhone and then just go ahead and tap on name right there. And as you can see, you will have the ability to change the name of that device. Cool new feature of iOS 14 can be found under privacy. So if you go to privacy and you go to location services, you will have, of course, all the apps that are using your location. Now this is new on iOS 14. You can choose whether you want to allow an app to use your precise location or turn this off and then it will just basically know your approximate location, not the precise location you're in. On iOS 14, Apple has added a really cool feature called Picture in Picture. So basically you can get out of the app and still have the video watching anywhere you go. But if you use that with YouTube on Safari, then it allows us to play YouTube in the background. So if I'm playing this video right here, all I have to do is basically go to the Picture in Picture mode. So go right there. And now I can lock my device and still have the video playing there. Just have the play button and you can see right here the device is locked and I still have the video playing in the background from YouTube. 
A really useful feature of iOS 14 is one that Apple has added on the back button. So if you go, let's say on an app, like on the settings here, if you just go deep on it and you don't want to have to tap like three or four times to go back, you can tap and hold the back button. It will show you a list of locations where you can go. Like from here, I can go back to location services, privacy, or go to the front page of settings. Just tap right there and you're good to go. On the home page of your iOS 14 device, you can quickly move between pages by just tapping and holding the dots right there. And you will have the ability to just scroll like this and move between the pages that you have on the home screen of your iPhone. On the keynote, when Apple showed the home screen widgets, they also showed stacks, which are basically two or more widgets combined together. It's really, really cool. And you can also create your own. You can also have multiple stacks on one page. So all you have to do is just go ahead and drag a widget to another one and you will create a new stack so you can have as many stacks as you want and this is another one right here which is really cool for the weather app you can add like different widgets with different cities and then combine them into a stack and then what you have to do is just swipe like this to switch between different cities that you have added and of course have all the cities in one stack and not have multiple widgets for each city on the shortcuts app on iOS 14, now you can create folders with different shortcuts. So basically separate your shortcuts or categorize them into different folders. Now, what's really cool is that if you add the shortcuts widgets on the home screen, you can choose whichever of your folders you want to display there. So if you just tap and hold here and go to edit widget, it will give you the option here to choose all shortcuts or just choose one of the folders of shortcuts that you have and basically display there on the home screen. Now you can add another Another one here for the shortcuts just go ahead add another widget and add another folder if you want to have two different folders of shortcuts as widgets on the home screen of your iPhone a new feature on voice memos which is really really useful is noise reduction so basically when you go to one of your recordings and you go to edit it you will find a new button so edit recording you can see this button right here now what it will do it will automatically reduce the noises in the background on your voice recordings on the weather app on ios 14 you can now take a look at weather on different cities without having to add them here to the list so if i just go here and search let's say for london I can go ahead and just tap right there and see how the weather is in London and I don't have to add this city to the list. So you will have the add button there, of course, if you want to add it or if you just want to take a look at the weather and just remove it, just tap done right there and you're good to go. The magnifier interface has totally changed on iOS 14. So if you go to the magnifier, you will see a totally new interface right here. You will have a few options here so you can change the exposure, the brightness. Basically, you can go ahead and change here the contrast. You will have a few options here. You can add filters. Of course, you can turn on or off the flashlight and then you will have the settings here. You can choose what you want to see there, which tools you want to see. And of course, you can also go ahead and rearrange them any way you like. A feature a ton of people have been asking for is the mirroring in the camera app on the iPhone, of course, for the selfie photos. Now on iOS 14, Apple has added it. So if you go to settings and go to camera, you have here mirror front camera. You can enable or disable that directly from there. So if you're someone that wanted to have that feature or you used to use a third party app just because of that feature, now you will have it on the stock camera app. A really cool feature of iOS 14 is the ability to zoom way more on pictures. So previously on iOS 13, you used to have the ability to zoom like something like this, not more, but with iOS 14, you will be able to zoom way more on any picture. On the home screen of your iOS 14 device, if you go ahead and tap and hold one of the apps, it will first show you the 3D touch menu. If you hold more, then it will go to the edit mode. But you can quickly go to the edit mode on the home screen simply by tapping anywhere on a blank space on the screen, tap and hold, and just like that, it will go to the edit mode. And you can do the same on the app library. So if you go to the app library, just tap and hold on any blank space anywhere and you can see it will go to the edit mode. Even though if you go like to a folder here of apps, you can still just tap and hold anywhere to go to the edit mode within a folder so you can delete any app that you want from here. 
With the new app library, Apple allows us to remove apps from the home screen and just have them saved on the library. So you basically 3D touch on the app and you can go ahead and tap on remove app and add it to library. But you can still use the old method that you use to basically move app around. So just go ahead and select a few apps like I have three here. All I have to do now is just swipe to the app library, release them and they will be added to the app library. Now you can use the same if you want to place apps out of the library, you just go ahead Head and just select them like this you can select any apps you want and just go back to the home screen and release them anywhere you want on the home screen so that is it for this video guys these are 20 plus hidden features and tricks on ios 14 that of course apple didn't show us on the keynote they're very very useful and pretty cool to know i hope you guys enjoyed the video hopefully you're enjoying my ios 14 videos if you want to see more ios 14 videos on all the new hidden features and all the tricks and everything you need to know make sure you subscribe to my channel and also leave a like in this video if you enjoyed it so that's it for this one and i will see you guys on the next one